Hello everybody, I'm Eli from Greenbox Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how I slapped a game together in 48 hours for the GMTK 2020 Game Jam. So, before we get started, if you don't know, a Game Jam is basically people that want to make game, theme, and time limit. Yeah, it's just like a for fun competition for game developers. I really like doing game jams because it's a nice reminder that it's actually possible for me to finish a project and that I'm not just shoving another file into my in progress games folder. Also, making a game around a theme is just a great way to get some funky fresh ideas that you might not normally come up with. The theme for this jam was out of control. So I started farming my brain for ideas. Eventually, I came up with a couple that weren't complete shit and started working on one of them. It was a game where you piloted a construction mech that was rampaging out of control through a city. Using the mech's utility, you would steer it away from property and civilians. The plan was to have three different kinds of utility. A drill arm, a bomb arm, and a grapple arm, which you would use to maneuver the mech to the end of the level without, you know, stepping on some poor guy that's just trying to come home after a long day working at McDonald's. The man's life is hard enough already, we don't have to make it worse. Anyway, I started off by adding the main mechanics I wanted, like a rotating body so there was a visual indicator for where you were aiming, uh, then I added some basic physics and all the different utility types. Also, I made this really fun and fair mechanic where the game just randomly shuffles your utility every time you activate it. Wait, Eli, how am I supposed to try to plan my way through a level with that kind of bullshit in the way? Also, wasn't this video supposed to be about like a surfing game or something? What's all this mech hey, shit? Hey, 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 hey. We'll get to that, I promise. You just gotta be patient. Uh, anyway. Moving on, I kept adding things until this happened. Guys, I know it looks bad, but I promise it's not that big of an issue. And it actually wasn't. I had to change like one setting and we were chilling. Also, at some point, I decided the game wasn't already hard enough, so I Thanos snapped mouse aiming out of existence and made you rotate the player with the arrow keys. Looking back on it now, I'm just like, why? Who did this? Uh, it couldn't have been me, guys. I only have good ideas. Yeah dude, that's why you wasted 5 hours on a game that's not even the cool surfing one. No. Sh shut up. Anyway, I made some quick sprites for the Lost Collisions, built a level, and then just started playtesting. And it was at this point I realized, my god, this game just, it sucks. It sucked, man. It was bad. And like, I'm sure I could have made the idea work somehow, but goddamn, I was just not feeling it. And I was already like five hours in. But then I was like, ah, screw it. So we scrapped that shit, yoinked the only fun part, the grappling hook, and started a new project. Two hours of me slapping the shit out of my keyboard later, and bam! We got grapple surf, baby! Look at this exhilarating gameplay with all the things to do. Uh, yeah, maybe it needs a bit more work before we're ready to hit that release button. But still, not a bad start. Now, if you're wondering how I got Grapple Surf to this point, well, that's tough, because it was a bunch of super boring math and I'm not explaining it. But, as you can see, I've got the basics finished. Now to get on to more important things, like adding proper grapple collisions, uh, enemies, a way to win maybe? Or I could spend almost two hours on a mechanic I didn't even end up putting in the game. Yeah, I do this a lot. If you're wondering what the mechanic was, uh, basically you were going to be able to reel in your rope, and that's how you would generate momentum. But it ended up being kind of redundant, so I decided to just hand out boosts for free. Anyway, after those very productive hours, I made the sick death effect where you slam into a wall and just go <laughs> Pieces flying everywhere and then the pieces have their own trails in the water. Yeah, I really like how this turned out. The next thing I had to do was figure out what the hell the game was actually going to be. Would there be levels to go through? Or would it be an arena battle with waves of enemies? Haha. <laughs> waves. Surfing. Uh, <clears throat> so, I uh, tried to build a couple levels, but they all sucked, so we went with the arena, and that was the end of day one for me. So, I started out the next day by improving the graphics a bit, just enough so that it wasn't melting my eyes every time I launched the game. 
Then I play tested the game for a while and realized that having all the walls kill you made the game almost impossible. So I made only some of the walls kill you. But the non-lethal walls still needed to have some kind of punishment for hitting them. So, inspired by the Mario Kart banana peels, I made it so that if you hit a non-lethal island, you spin out and lose all your momentum. And then I played the game some more and was thinking. I need a way for the player to be able to kill the enemies, and I think I should add a bit more depth to the movement mechanics. So I came up with an easy two-for-one solution, a big bahonkin' shotgun with enough recoil to alter the course of a rocket-powered surfboard. Next up was the enemies. I was feeling a bit artsy, so I spent a while on this cool police boat sprite. Then I gave it essentially the same death rules as the player, plus being able to die to bullets, and started working on the AI. I wanted the enemies to be able to wander around the arena without killing themselves before they ever got close enough to the player to aggro onto them. So I gave them a sort of vision cone where they would check the space in front of them, and if there was an island there, they would turn away. Now I had to decide what progression would look like. Should I do waves of enemies or something? But then you could just camp one island and all the enemies would come to you eventually. So I decided I would make an objective that you had to move around and collect. And what better to run around on an ocean collecting than giant crystals somehow floating in the middle of the water. So thematically appropriate. Actually, in a game where you play as a hover, surfing, shotgun wielding dude that's running around blowing up cop cars, I guess I've already kind of thrown thematic appropriateness out the window. So, big crystals it is. The next thing I did was set up a radar, a system to show enemies and crystals off screen. This is actually something I've never done before, so it was mostly me just messing around with list data structures and then drawing arrows on the screen. But it was something new and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. After that I made some UI elements to show what stage you're on and how many crystals you've collected. Then we got some sound effects going and I redid all the splash effects so the game didn't look like complete shit. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I uploaded the game to itch.io and submitted it with about an hour to spare. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's the video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, you know the drill. Uh, this is my first time doing a video like this, so if you've got any feedback for me, let me know down in the comments. If you want to play Grapple Surf or any of my other games, I've got links to those down in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.